Uh, Justin Martinez posted a whole lot of Instagram stories and reels uh, suggesting that he has been called up to the major leagues. A lot of congratulations from friends, uh, a lot of pictures. So it would appear Justin Martinez, based on that, is being called up to the Arizona Diamondbacks. So uh, that does leave us in a position to wonder who is uh, he going to re replace and, and how is this uh, going to impact the starting rotation and the D-backs going forward? It's Yeah, it's not a super easy question to answer, frankly. And it is also a little odd that the Diamondbacks are bringing up Justin Martinez yes. and they're not bringing up Kevin Ginkle, who Kevin pitched Ginkle. really well for this team and, and got sent down anyway. It's an interesting move here by the organization. But we can kind of go a uh, process of elimination here. Yep. I'm going to go with with the relief pitchers because I, I don't see any, any moves happening in the rotation. Of course, everyone Just wants fun. to know if Zach Davies is being DFA'd. Like 20 of the questions that were responses uh, to to uh, this and the other tweet were basically Zach Zach Davies D getting DFA. I don't I don't see it not at, not at this point. Um, I, I will say this uh, just 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 playing devil's advocate. The only way I would see it is if maybe uh, we see Dre moved up into the starting rotation. But they can't do that. They can't do that at this point. They've already said that they can't they've, stretch Dre. They've Jameson already said that they stand anymore. Dre, yeah. They could use him as like an opener guy, though. Right. So I guess they but, could use him as a starter in that but sense. But that's very much not likely. You know, I, I think no. that you know what we heard from them is that Dre is going to maintain that role in the bullpen. But that, if if you're asking, that's the only way that it could possibly. You know, this move could possibly impact Zach Davies being sent unless it's I mean, unless there's some sort of injury, I guess that would be that would sure. be the other thing. Sure. Um, but yeah, so if we're if we're just focusing on relievers, I don't think you're sending out Austin Adams. He's been good. Miguel Castro clearly off the table. Andrew Chafin clearly off the table. Dre Jameson's been pretty good. I don't see that. Scott McGuff, obviously, there's no way that's happening. Too sexy. Leave, right, exactly. Uh, leaves you with three guys. Uh, Joe Mantiply, Kyle Nelson, Jose Ruiz. Those are the guys who have yeah. been. A little bit inconsistent in the bullpen. Uh, but even among those, I don't think there's really an obvious choice here. Uh, Joe Mantiply, right, the all-star last year, just came back from injury. Yeah. He has not pitched well recently, but I don't know if you're ready to pull the plug there. Kyle Nelson has not been good of late, but he actually was quite good in his most recent outing, I believe, on Saturday in this series. Uh, was really good in, in that game. And then Jose Ruiz is tricky because he doesn't have any options left. So if you're going to move on from Jose Ruiz, then you're moving on from Jose Ruiz. You're, you're allowing him to depart from the organization. Maybe the D-backs are at the point where they'd be willing to do that, but they don't need to. Justin Martinez is already on the 40-man roster, so they don't need to make a 40-man roster move in, in order to make this happen. So it feels like one of those three guys to me, Derek, but as far as who it is, I don't know. There, there, could, be, there could be something else at, at play here. Uh, and we might just kind of have to wait and see how this unfolds. Absolutely. And we probably won't hear anything today because it is an off day. So most likely yeah. the corresponding move and making that news official will happen tomorrow. So we will bring you more information on that once it does. I personally think it's going to be Kyle Nelson. Uh, but honestly, there's not a lot of left-handed options in the bullpen uh, is Justin Martinez left-handed or he's right? Justin Martinez is okay. right-handed. And so, we should probably talk about how Justin Martinez throws 100 miles an hour. We absolutely should. A, and has a pretty filthy splitter. Also yep. throws a slider, which is not as big of a pitch for him. It's actually pretty much an identical pitch mix to Scott McGuff, actually. Uh, just like add five miles per hour to the, to the fastball. <laughs> I like that. That's, <laughs> that sounds hot. That sounds sexy. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but of course, throwing scoreless innings is sexy. Uh, and I know this very much impacts Brett Johnson because I believe Brett Johnson has the entire rainbow of Justin Martinez uh, cards. Yeah, or rookie something. cards, autographed yeah. rookie cards. Uh, yeah, everything. Brett Lee Johnson has it all. Best, so. best of luck to you, sir.